Video background is a great way to add a subtle design touch to your website and it gives your site visitors a perceived layer of thoughtfulness. It can turn a plain boring background like this into something stunning that captures the attention of your visitors like this. But when done poorly, it will cause the site to slow down and have a negative impact on user experience. I've created a tutorial on how you can build a personal portfolio website for free that includes a video background. And this page is fetching a 93 score on Google PageSpeed Insights and it passes all the Core Web Vitals metrics. So if you're interested to watch that, the link is right here. I left it in the description as well, but don't go there yet, watch this video all the way to the end so you know how to source, create and optimize a video for your background that suits your purpose even when you don't have a budget for video production. Yes, not only I'm going to show you the best practices, I'm going to show you how to source for videos to be used on your site without getting into legal troubles and I'm going to show you how to combine video clips together for free and finally, I'm going to show you how to optimize the video so that it will not slow down your website. But I'll be very honest with you, this is subjective and you may have a different opinion about the stuff I'm sharing. So if you have a different perspective, opinion, or maybe a different approach, feel free to share it in the comments. But please make it in a positive tone. We are all here to learn together as a community. Anyway, before we get started, I hope you can smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. It will help this video reach out to people who need this information. So if you have smashed that thumbs up button, thank you and let's go. Hey, this is Jack and this is your first time on my channel. I share a lot of WordPress and online business related content. I have an ever growing list of WordPress tutorials, page speed optimization case studies, affiliate marketing content and many more. So if you're interested in these topics, feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. Anyway, let's start with sourcing the right videos for your background. Let me walk you through an example of how you can find videos that are relevant to your website. You may be a lawyer, a doctor, a web designer, or an expert in some areas. So I would just pick a profession and work with it. Let's say that I'm an artist and I have a personal portfolio website to showcase my work. I want to have a video background that is related to what I do, but I just don't have the time and expertise to take videos of myself. But if you have the capacity to do that, that would be the best source for videos. However, if you don't have that capacity, then the best place I know to find royalty free videos that you can use for free is Pexels.com. And there are many others like Videvo, Vidizi, Pixabay, and many others which I will link them in the description. But for this example, I will just use Pexels, which I think is good enough. The first step I will do is to brainstorm some keywords that are relevant to me and my business. Let's say that we have drawing, artist, painter, palette, sketch, or whatever. You just need three to five keywords. And then we will go to Pexels, put in a keyword and search. And now let's select videos. Now the videos to look for are landscape and do not have any faces in it because you don't want to be misrepresented. So videos like this or this, you wouldn't want it in your video background. If you want faces in the video, that will be you or your team so that you can leave a personal touch on your website. But otherwise, we will select videos that are in landscape. They are doing something that you would usually do and in the video, it doesn't show any faces such as this. So let's click on this and let's download it. And let's search for another video like this. This looks cool as well. Let's download this as well. Now, if you can't find any relevant videos anymore, then put in another keyword. Let's say sketch or sketching. And let's scroll through to find the third video. This is really nice. And I think this is what we want. So let's download this as well. Now we will only be combining about three to four videos into one clip, which is about 15 to 20 seconds. And then we will loop it. The thing is, we don't want a video that is too long because the longer your video, the bigger the file size. So it's between 15 to 25 seconds. I think it is optimal. So in this example, we will use only three videos to create a 15 second clip. And we are ready for the second step, which is to combine those videos in a video editing tool. And don't worry, you don't need to pay for a video editing software and there is little to no learning curve. So let's go.
Now, the simplest way to combine videos is to use a tool like Canva. I think most of us know what Canva is. They are famous for photo editing. And now they have this video editor that you can use for free. I'll leave a link in the description, but you can find this easily on Google. And if you know of any free video editing too, feel free to use them and also feel free to share it in the comment section. So once you're on this page, let's click on start video editing and we'll be brought to this page. If you don't have an account with Canva, you need to create a free account. And once you have created an account, they will ask you if you want to try their video editor for free. So here we go, it will bring us to a page like this. You can play around with these templates and stuff, but that's not what we are here for. We are here to combine those videos we have found on Pexels. So let's open up the folder where the videos are downloaded. Let's click on one of them and drag it to the white canvas. And make sure we expand the video so that it covers the white areas. And if you look to the bottom left, you will see a snippet of the video and this is the timeline of your video. If you click on play, you will see this black line moving forward. And that is the indicator of where your video is playing right now. And if you hover to the side of this clip, your mouse cursor will turn to something like this where you can adjust how long or short this video clip will play. So this video is 9.5 seconds. I will drag it to 5 seconds. And because you need to add a second clip, let's click on this, open up the same folder, click and drag the second video to the white canvas. Let's expand this to cover up the white areas. And then let's adjust this video to 5 seconds. And now we will add the third video. So we'll click on this plus to add a new page. Let's open up the folder and drag the third video into the white area. And always remember to expand this to cover up all the white areas. Now lastly, we need to reduce this down to 5 seconds. And we are basically done. Let's click on this play to see a preview of the clip. I think this looks good. And if you want to add transitions, you can hover to this plus and then there is this add transition button. Let's click on this and let's say we want it to be dissolved. So as you can see, the transition will happen over here where it dissolves and goes over to the next video. And we can do the same thing for this. Let's do dissolve just to make this consistent. Let's play this video. And here we go. This looks quite professional. And once we are done, it's time to export this video. Now, if you want to control the resolution and aspect ratio of the video, you need to upgrade to Canva Pro. We typically need the resolution to be 1280 by 720, but we obviously don't want to spend on the Pro version just for a simple video. So we will just export this video with the default resolution and we want to download the video in MP4 format. So let's click on download. And once downloaded, let's check it out. How big is the file size? As you can see, this is 7.1 megabytes. And this is not the ideal size for a video background. The ideal size is anything below 2 megabytes. The best is within the kilobytes range. Now, there are a few things that will contribute to the size of the video. So now is the time for us to do video optimization. Now, there are a few things that contribute to the size of the video and number one is the quality of the video. And honestly, you don't need an extremely high quality video playing in the background because you are going to put an overlay to cover up all the grainy parts of the video anyway. So we will use a tool from a website called freeconvert.com. And again, all these free tools I've mentioned in this video, I'll leave a link to them in the description. So we'll go to tools and we'll select video compressor. We'll select a file from the device and then we will upload the video we have just downloaded from Canva. The next thing is we want to click on the settings. The video codec will leave it as it is. The compression method will keep it as percentage. And I find that the best compression settings is between 40 to 60%. So we'll bring this down to 40%. So you can decide for yourself which setting you should choose. Do stick around. And let's apply settings and let's compress this video. Once done, you can see the file size of the video has decreased by 60%, but it is not ideal yet. But anyway, let's download the video and let's check the quality of it. As you can see, this is the compressed video we've just downloaded. Let's open this up and let's put them side by side. On the left is the original video we've downloaded from Canva and on the right, it is the compressed video. Let's play them. And can you spot the difference? It's kind of hard to tell, right? So I think we are good.
Now, I'm pretty sure that the videos you have downloaded from Pexels do not come with audio, but if you have recorded a video from your phone or camera, it may come with audio and audio increases the file size of the video as well. If that is the case, then you may want to use a tool called EasyGIF to remove the audio. The link to this free tool is in the description, but we will not use it because our video does not come with any audio. Now, let me name this file as 40%. And the next factor that contributes to the file size is the resolution. So if we right click on the file, let's go to properties and let's go to details. We can see that the frame width is 1920 by 1080. Now, my opinion is that the optimal resolution for video background is 1280 by 720. So if we optimize the video to the resolution, the file size of the video will definitely be reduced. Plus, in most cases, the file size of the video format called WebM is usually smaller than MP4. So I'm going to use another free tool called Cloud Convert to turn the MP4 format into WebM and at the same time have the resolution to 1280 by 720. So let's select the file and let's select the 40%. Let's convert this video to WebM and then let's click on the settings. Over here at the aspect ratio, let's put this as 16 by 9. This is the landscape. And as for the resolution, let's change this to 1280 by 720. Let's keep the quality at 31, video codec as this, and let's click OK. And now let's convert. And here you go. Let's download this. And as you can see, this is the new file size. Let's click OK. And we have taken a video that has a file size of 7 megabytes, and we managed to reduce it down to 1.58 megabytes. And it looks almost similar to the original file. Now, as promised, I'll be showing you the differences of all the compression percentages starting with the original file. I'll be showing you about 8 seconds for each compression rate. This is 60%. As you can see, there is not much difference. And then 50%. Not much difference as well. Then 40%, which is the video we have created with this tutorial. And then 30%, you can see that it starts to get a little pixelated and grainy. And then 20%. Now, did you notice 60% is the most optimal for both the file size as well as the quality? It doesn't mean the poorer the quality, the lesser the file size. In some cases, it doesn't work that way. And this is the perfect example. So I highly recommend that you choose between 40% to 60% and see which is the best configuration for your video background. So there you have it. That's how you source, create and optimize a video for your size background without spending a single cent. And it's just a couple of steps steps for you to take. Now you can have an awesome video background for your site to wow your site visitors. I hope you find this useful and if it did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. If you're interested to learn how to build fast loading WordPress sites that looks amazing, then check out this playlist at the top and if you want to know which is the fastest loading WordPress team, then check out the video at the bottom. All the best to you, stay cool and stay safe.